Hello, my beautiful Cancer Dragons. Welcome to your monthly reading for December 2021. So, last month of the year. Um, so, I just wanted to let you guys know that I won't be doing bonuses this year. Instead, this year, this month, um, I'm just going to be doing... Um, Um, the yearly predictions. So I'm going to try to get out a prediction for the next year. Now it's it's a tough time because we have the yearly predictions. We have the and so I'm not doing the uh, bonuses or also the um, winter solstice because there's so many things. I might try to hammer at the solstice ones. But um, December is so busy because then also there's also the new moon that happens right in the beginning of January. So there's a lot of stuff. So we'll see. You're st still going to get a ton of readings. It's just going to be um, which ones to choose. <laughs> Unless I get really... Um, Come on, guys, give me another card for cancer, please, December. Um, unless I get really, uh, so much time on my hands. Come on. One more shuffle. And then I'm going to take the bottom. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, so the cards that have come out for you guys are round and round and exchanging gifts. So... What I'm hearing here, and I don't like when these come out, is you might be going back to something or or something might be trying to come back to you and making trying to make you an offering of sorts. So either you're returning or um, the situation is returning. Now, it's funny because this is exchanging gifts. When you look at it, closely. So it's a, um, almost like a fairy like creature in a box, um, with a cat. So it's almost like, um, it's two very different. And normally I think I'd see the cat chasing the fairy, but the fairy is the gift. So it might be if you're in a situation where you're in a runner and chaser situation, which, by the way, is not healthy. Um, it might, it'll be where the one who normally was the runner is now chasing. So it's them coming back and sort of going, oh, hi. And you could be like, I don't know, I have a feeling like you just might be like, mm, you know, I'm, I'm good with it. So I don't know. Let's get some more information on this, shall we, Cancer? Because this is... It's interesting. I know I've really been um, on you guys a lot for stuff lately, but you have been making steps forward. But here's here's the funny thing. As soon as you make steps forward, guess what happens? Sometimes people feel you withdrawing your energy. And then they're, they're like, oh, whoa, whoa. Where did my cancer go? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want, I, I want to go, I, I, I want this person. They're not chasing me anymore. So, but don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. And it might seem appealing to you because you're going to be like, oh, wait, this person has never done this. This is all I've ever wanted is for them to reach out to me. And... You're right, so you might be. I, I'm he really hearing that you might be tempted. Don't do it. Well, really, the choice is yours, okay? But um, don't, um, I always say, don't trust words, trust actions. So think about what you were asking them to do in order to be with you or whatever and see if that's actually been done, okay, guys? So let's go ahead and see what's come out of here. So um, also, I just want to mention that um, Chiron is in retrograde until December the 19th, okay? So it's, it, and it's the wounded healer. So I really feel like um, you, instead of going back to this situation, that you should be 
um, healing from it and moving ahead through it um, and realizing how much you've healed from it. If that person has healed with you um, on their own, not with you, like together with you, you can't rely on another person for healing. You have to do it yourself. Then it could be a new thing. So let's just see what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, so in the past, I really feel like this, um, whatever this is, the devil's hooked into it. So it could be your own patterns that allowed this situation to keep going. Um, I'm not getting any love. There is no love cards here. So I don't know if this is a work situation or if it is a mm, romantic situation. It doesn't have love in it anymore. Okay. Or there is no love or there, um, maybe it's an old, old situation and somebody's coming back out of the blue and maybe you've just gotten over whatever has happened. Okay. Because highly toxic people like to keep their little group of individuals and they, they all just keep bouncing around and coming back and coming back and coming back. Okay. So you have somebody in your energy or this is your own pattern and it really affected your business, right? Your career, your health. Now it could also be family. Okay. So, but this person, oh, it could be family. If you had, um, oh, sorry. I'm trying to think of the, the, um, estranged yourself from somebody right? They may be coming back just in time for Christmas, right? Everybody gets all the feels. So, but it could be a toxic, um, family member too. And it's almost like they tried to really wreck you. Okay. Yeah. So here's, this is all past. Okay. So this is all sort of a backstory to it, right? You have justice in reverse. So somebody was extremely unfair. Okay. They were, um, dishonest. Um, and they may have had tons of legal issues or they went after you, right? And um, there is a lot of resentment still, okay? And look at this. And so you have the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Wands in reverse. So I think that what happened is that there was probably um, very weak boundaries. And I think it is because of the connection with this person right? I feel like there was, there was a deeper connection. Yeah. I'm really he hearing that family connection. Um, and so, you know, you have all these limiting beliefs that are placed inside of your mind when you're young with how your family is, you know, blood is thicker than water. No, it's not. No, it's not. If you have a family member, that's a jerk. You have a family member. That's a jerk. Okay. There's nothing that says that you need to keep them in your life. Nothing. Okay. You do not need to keep toxic people in your life, but you saw that. Okay. The moon card is in reverse. Okay. So I think that, um, you really figured it out and you're like, I can't, can't keep going on with the situation the way that it is because this person is like, they're just destroying me. Um, so you, you've decided to ace of wands. So you decided to have these new ideas around what the situation was. Okay. That's a very detailed, this is a very specific reading cancer. Okay. So this is a huge background to this. So let's see what comes out now. So this is, yeah, let's see. More cards for cancer, please. Wow. So, um, just so you guys know, the deck I'm using up top is the Wisdom of the Oracle, and the one that I'm using right now, the Tarot deck, is the Tarot of Dreams. three more. I'm going to pull cards from the top, please. Two, 
to one more. So stubborn today. Okay, so let's see what came up for you guys. Okay, yeah. So you have the sun in reverse. Now the sun card is never negative. Okay, so the sun card in reverse is just that there's a little bit of adjustments that you've needed to do, and maybe this is why this person comes back around. Maybe there's some sort of like fine tuning that has to do with how the situation was left behind. I don't know if it's actually that you have to do something with them or if you have to do something with yourself just to sort of put a final goodbye to it, okay? So I'm gonna be clarifying this. I'm gonna see if this is your energy or if this is people because when you do this, okay, you have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Coins coming in. You have your Three of Cups in reverse. So um, I'm, I'm going to say just be careful with the Three of Cups in reverse, okay? Because it could be, okay, because you have these two knights, so this is a very young energy coming in. Be very careful, unless this is what you want, but the what you're looking for could be more sensual, more surface level, if you do get into a relationship of some sort. So say once you drop this, all of a sudden, so what I'm hearing like crazy, this is the easy interpretation is these two guys come along or two young energies come along, but it's more just for play. It isn't for anything serious, but you do have the Knight of Coins here. So I hear the Knight of Wands is going to be the player, okay? Or, um, yeah, they're going to be coming in and they are all about play, but you're looking for your Knight of coins. You're looking for that stable night, the night that's okay to go slowly. Um, but I think you might mistake this. So that's one. Let me just get some clarification on these nights. Okay, Knight of Wands, please. One card. Is it a person or an energy? Let's see. Person or energy, person or energy, person or energy. One more and I'm going to take the top. Okay energy. Okay. So you are embodying this passion. Okay. So you're going to be coming in and you're going to be, um, you're, you're making this positive movement forward. Okay. So this is you, you are moving ahead. You are, um, I think that you're really just finding your, your, your self-confidence again. You're finding your your ego in a good way, okay? Ego, we, ego, we need ego to survive, right? So you're finding this amazing ego in a good way, okay? This is actually a really good energy, okay? So you're, you're sort of taking the time for you here. Clarify the Knight of Coins, please. Clarify the Knight of Coins. While you move ahead also, this Three of Cups could be all of this gossiping. Okay, three of cups in reverse is also way too much um, people talking, so make sure that isn't you, okay? Um, but you might have, a, as soon as you start to remove yourself from bad situations, and with this, I feel like this is gonna be sort of the last exchange of gifts that you have with this person. I have a, they're not gonna like you walking away, okay? Um, okay, yeah, so you are gonna be coming your knight of coins, Okay, because a hermit came out. You are going to be coming into the Knight of Coins energy. You are going to be moving ahead, not fast, but you're going to be moving ahead stable. Okay, so um, you're going to be coming ahead. And you know what else, though? Um, you're going to be bringing people into your life that are also stable. Um, it's it, like it's all still young. It's not romantic. It's more career oriented. So I feel that as soon as something that this person had their hands in affected you financially for sure. Yeah. But it's going to start bringing in like a really strong movement uh, forward for you. Okay. This is a fantastic reading for you guys. Let me just quickly get a positive 
affirmation card for you. Okay, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So I think that's the big thing, right? So don't let your mind overpower you. Okay, Cancers, see you in your next reading. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Bye, guys.